everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's great seeing you. I'm in the kitchen because it's a baking video and I'm back in the kitchen. As I said, well, trust me, I know the autumn season is already here. I had so many great ideas for summer's video, but I didn't make them all. So today we are making frozen breakfast bottles inspired by watermelons because um, you can think it's still summer. Actually, it's still hot outside, so I don't know, just let you know. Our frozen breakfast is gonna be built from two layers of shake. One layer is gonna be from blackberry and the other layer is gonna be from kale because we wanna make watermelon inspired breakfast. So enhance like the red and the green. It's not that difficult. Anyway, um, you don't need that. Now, for making the raspberry shake, you will need one full cup of Greek yogurt if you're not consuming any dairy product. Uh, you can change it by adding like soy milk, almond milk, nutmeg, well, not milk, uh, almond milk, you got the, you got point. Uh, one chopped banana, this much blackberry, um, I think blackberries, vanilla extract, honey, and oats. By the way, if you want to make this recipe vegan, you can change the dairy milk into like soy milk, as I said before, and change the honey and just like put it on the side and not using it because honey is not vegan. Oh, that's disgusting. Basically, you need to stir all the ingredients together, but first of all, um, start with dairy because the rest is not gonna blend as well. By the way, I didn't tell you, you need about, um, that's like so cute, half teaspoon of vanilla extra. <gasps> that wasn't half teaspoon. And the amount of honey that you're using, don't forget, it depends on you. Um, I basically recommend it for that amount of a shake to add it about um, one tablespoon, that's enough. Uh, because you have the banana, it's kind of sweet, and you have like the blackberry, so it's kind of sour, so it's combined great together. Oh no, you know what? I have a squeeze up about one tablespoon. Don't forget to close the lid, it's a very important step when making a shake. Uh, so. Don't forget to blend it really good because you don't want to eat chunks of oil, so you need to blend it at least like two minutes. Um, that's right. Oh my god! That's so pretty! Like, look how pink it is. Do you want to taste? Anyway, now it's the fun part. Grab a silicon mold. I chose a half round bowl because I don't know, I thought it would look pretty. And just in case I grab another silicon mold because I think I made too much or exactly the right amount. I don't know, we will see. Small notes when you fill the mold, don't forget to fill them about two thirds of the way. I don't know, but I think the red color is supposed to take most of the place instead of the green because you know when you slice a uh, slice of watermelon, you see like the red and you have like a small stripe at the end of green. So um, that's why you need to be very gentle. After you pop them into the fridge, wait about one hour before adding the green layer because you don't want to. You want to have a clean layer between the red and the green and if the red is not hard enough uh, it will spill and combine all together and not going to be great looking. Charlie, what the f***? Hey, hello! This is Charlie. Uh, Charlie thinks he's a parrot, so he likes to sit there. Like all the time, right Charlie? Charlie! Hello, beauty. No, he's angry. Oh, Charlie! Charlie bit my finger! You're a naughty boy. I need to wait now. Now I didn't think about it through. Don't worry, you will see me immediately because this is edited. We're back! Um, it's been an hour and a half and it's got pretty hard. That's what she said. See? Pretty solid. Keep it in the fridge just in case. For making the green shake, you will need one sliced banana, half cup of oats, half cup of Greek yogurt, honey, 
vanilla extract and about half teaspoon of matcha powder and kale. I didn't really measure it, but you will need that much, like a bowl. Let's shake it all together. Half sliced banana, oats, kale, about fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract and half teaspoon of matcha powder. that amazing natural and healthy and what I'm doing pop your mold out from the fridge and add the grill layer now after we're done making the frozen breakfast balls it's time to assemble the ingredients you will need for decoration are the frozen breakfast balls a little bit of honey chia seeds and some herbs so what I want you to do is to spread honey all over the frozen breakfast bowls and then brush it with a brush, I have like a silicone brush here and spread chia seeds all over the top because I wanted to imitate the Louis with an actual watermelon slices and then garnish with herbs on top I'm so happy that was the last video of this summer thing before we moving on to the autumn. Look how amazing it came out, like, you know, what we have left. The taste test. I have no idea how you're supposed to eat it. Oh, mmm, sensitive teeth, sensitive teeth. Mmm. I have very sensitive teeth. But it's great. It's melting on my hand. You probably need to eat that um, with a fork and spoon or something with a knife. Um, but it's really tasty. <laughs> so that was another success with baking with done. Hope you enjoyed watching. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up so I will know and subscribe to my channel if you're not a regular subscriber already. And I will see you next week. By the way, small note, as I said before. When this video go live, I think it will be August already. Uh, so since August, since the first of August, I will upload two videos per week, one per Um That's it. I will see you next week. Yeah.